What makes a woman broken and why? The ultimate reason that she is broken is maybe because she hates her femininity and tries to deny it. Hey guys, how's it going? This is Jacqueline, the Unimportant Homemaker, and today let's talk about womanhood. Because we don't understand femininity in its deepest forms, sometimes it can cause us to become broken women. It is an utter rejection of the intuitive, instinctive feminine nature inside herself. There are three ways that we can deny femininity and instead embrace an unfamiliar nature. The first one is hardening our hearts. Some women harden their hearts in response to past hurts inflicted by parents or lovers. As a result, she shuts down her ability to feel deep things in her heart. She will steel herself against emotions and emotional responses of sympathy. However, these traits are necessary for women to be at peace within themselves. Knowing she can express herself emotionally makes her a better woman, a better friend, a better lover, and a better mother. Knowing she feels sympathy makes her tender-hearted to suffering wishing to alleviate pain in others by her warm, loving embrace. Without these traits, she is a foreign entity not performing her innate role. Broken women embrace and identify deeply with a victim mentality. Yes, it sucks when someone harms us. It's hard to heal from. It causes untold pain and anguish, but it ought not be our identifier. We ought not introduce ourselves as survivors. Pain, suffering, and hurt are a part of everyone's life. No one is untouched from the harshness of human life. A wonderful thing about women is our resilience in growing past the past. We are strong people who can put that tattered heart right back out there in full hope of a different outcome. We can let go of the past hurts and live again. But embracing, loving, and cherishing victimhood makes a woman hard, tough, and bitter. She is not free to let go of hurts. She has to coddle them close to her heart, making sure to rehash them time and time again, preventing any healing and scar tissue from forming over the gaping wound. This is tragic for the softer sex. A broken woman might take assertiveness to the extreme. This woman will hold her right to be heard in the elevated and exaggerated place in her heart. This feeling will take over and stain all other feelings. She is in a constant battle to be heard and understood. This may result in her talking over, shouting at, and stepping over others to get her point across. Behaviors like this murder the sensitive nature of women. They take whatever kindness and compassion that exists in her, walks it behind the shed, and shoots it dead. This is cold, calculating passion that derails her approachability in life. In conclusion, to deny your femininity is to train yourself in a behavior and a mindset foreign to you as a woman. This can produce disastrous results in your own mental health and shackle you to chaotic, toxic traits that will dominate you and those around you. That's it for today, guys. I thank you for joining me, and I will see you next time here at the Homestead. Bye.